Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jerry Goins here with the Connect Check Strategy. I'm going to help you keep more money in your pocket, never go broke, beat the banks, never pay NSF fees, always have some money in your account. It's going to be a practical way to manage your cash flow, discipline your spending, save money from every paycheck, and feel good knowing that you have a cushion for emergencies. Because we all know it's pretty hard to save especially without a practical way to put something in place. This right here is a formula that I personally use to keep myself from going in the red, okay? So let's start off with a quick example, all right? Let's say your paycheck is $1,500, all right? So in business terms, that would be your revenue, okay? Bills till next payday is $1,000. So those are your expenses. So if you're a business-minded person like myself, your revenue minus your expenses, well, that equals your personal profit. And that's going to be $500 in this case, but we're not going to stop there. We need to figure out how can we spread out this personal profit all the way till next payday without going broke. Well, to do that, we should just divide your personal profit by the days until next payday. If we do that with this example, you're going to get $35.71. Hope you're following me so far. If you spend $35 every day for 14 days, that's going to equal $500 spent. So therefore, on the last day, you're going to spend that last dollar. But we're trying to connect checks. So let's go one step further. You're going to multiply that $35.71 by 0.8. That's going to help you save 20% of it. Okay, that's going to save 20% of your check right there, or your personal profit to the next check. In this case, that equals $28.57. We're going to take that number and round down. So that way, you have an easy number to remember. It's not going to be this weird change left over. Even though the example is, is very much um, uh, figurative because you're not going to spend like exactly $28, but it's a good general idea of how much you have to spend every day until next paycheck and still have some money left over. So let's take a look at this right here. That's gonna be your new daily spending limit. Do not go over this amount. Try as hard as you can to not spend more than $28 in this, in this uh, example. But let's say you did, okay? You're gonna to have to tax yourself. Okay, here's an overspending rule. Use this formula. Divide the total that you spent in one day by your limit, minus one, and round up to make it a whole number. I know that sounds tricky, I know it sounds like a lot of work, but trust me, being broke is a lot of work. So we got to put some things into place and beat the banks and have some formulas, have some tricks going on in your mind so that you don't actually go broke and that you can actually build, start to build a cushion, especially for emergency fund. So this right here is going to equal your no spend days that you must commit to until payday. You got to commit to these no spend days or else you're going to go broke. OK, and you do not want to do that. Here's an example. Let's say you spent 60 bucks, 60 dollars divided by 28. That's 2.4 minus one, because that's the day that you're in right now. And that's going to equal 1.4. We're going to round it up so we can be um, extra courteous, I guess you can say, on the days because we're not trying to go broke. So we'd rather exaggerate the day. Uh, obviously, you're not going to go half a day without spending or spend like, you know, $14 in the day. So let's just round it up and say it's two whole days that you have to go without spending that until next payday, okay? You can do it, trust me, you can do it. And it's good too. Here's another tip is you wanna give yourself at least three days between spending anyway. Let's say you don't wanna follow this example. Have days that, that you set up where you just don't spend money and space it out by at least three days. Because let's face it, when you swipe that card, banks play with you. They'll remove transactions from the ledger until it actually hits your account. Like you swipe it, you see it that one time when you're on your ledger at your bank account that you paid for something, but it doesn't come out until like three days later. Or like me and my wife have seen, they'll actually remove that line item completely from your ledger as though it never existed. And then it'll pop back up when it actually withdraws from the account. But if you space out your transactions every three days or so, they can't surprise you and trick you. That's a hidden nugget for you right there. But here's some benefits of connecting your checks. In this example, you would have saved $100 from your paycheck and you connected checks to the next payday. Now, what does that mean? 
That means instead of having $1,500 when you got paid in your bank account, you now have $1,600 in your bank account. And you have to actually work extra hard for that, except for those no spend days. Now, that was pretty hard. But at the end of the year, you would have saved $2,600. That's $100 every other week. So that's, you know, divided by 26, uh, times 26 weeks. And you would have never gone broke. You would have never had overdraft fees. And you also have found your personal profit. And you have a plan for your money now. Because once you go through and figure out what are your expenses until next paycheck, now you have an extra edge on the bank. You have an extra edge because you know what you're up against. A lot of people are just swiping. A lot of people are just paying their bills. Got auto draft coming out here, auto draft coming out there, but they don't realize that they're about to go broke because they don't have enough money in that bank account until the next paycheck. So this forces you to kind of itemize what's coming in and what's going out until the, uh, in doing it paycheck to paycheck. That's how you stop living from paycheck to paycheck by analyzing why you are living paycheck to paycheck, okay? Besides, of course, having extra income, you know, besides having, uh, you know, tax deductions and things like that that we can help you out with, this is going to help you do that if you're just the average person. So here's some other quick budget tips. Don't spend it unless you got it three or four times. You know, like OG used to tell me, don't spend it unless you got it 10 times. But, you know, for the average pockets, hey, let's just say that don't spend it unless you have, you know, more than 30% of that. Uh, or you can buy it three or four times, you know. So uh, the next thing is use our budgeting tool to find the holes in your spending automatically. If you don't know what that is, trust me, it's awesome. It connects to your bank account using the same encryption that your online bank does, and it helps you to find the areas of spending. So it actually puts a pie chart up there, and it categorizes everything for you. And you can be like, man, I can't believe I'm spending that much at Starbucks. Or I can't believe I'm spending that much eating out. Can't believe I'm spending that much on entertainment. And you can definitely start to control your spending. Ask me or anyone sharing you this for that budgeting tool and we'll help you out. Um, here's another tip. Take a potential mentor out to lunch. The return on investment is going to be multiple times the, the price of that lunch. You know, you're going to learn some financial tips that people use that are more successful than yourself. Places that they put money and things like that that you never would have thought of. So that's just another quick tip. And instead of working for paychecks, please, people, create assets that work for you. The definition of an asset is that it appreciates in value or it holds its value very well. There's five different asset classes. More training on that coming up soon and what that means and everything. But you want to create things that work for you so you're not working for your money. Because I guarantee you, your money's not going to quit. Your money's not going to get sick. It's not going to ask for a day off. But you might. And you want something that's working while you do that. So ask me or anybody sharing this video for ways that you can do that. Other than that, y'all, thanks for watching. My name is Jerry Goins. You can find me at jerrygoins.com. Peace.